in lab view you create threads parallelly running threads by creating code that is not dependent on other code usually we use loops independent loops for running parallel pieces of code sometimes it is our requirement that we want the parallel loops to synchronize at a particular place in the code so that they can arrive at the same place uh, a pre designated place and then proceed uh, from there all in sync one of the tool that LabVIEW provides for achieving this task is called Rendezvous. Let's see how we can use Rendezvous to synchronize parallelly running loops. So let's write code for our uh, parallelly running loops that we want to synchronize. Let's create a loop. And let's create a rendezvous which will which we will use to synchronize between the loops. Let's create an error in for the time being. Let's create a rendezvous for two loops. Let's create a case structure. Let's create a shift register. Let's create a Boolean constant to initialize this shift register to false. In the false state, we will create a task a simulated task by just placing wait function and for the first loop let's say we want to wait for 1000 millisecond this will be will be the job that this task is doing busy then we will go to the true case of this loop. Let's create some string loop one, uh, let's say done waiting. And let's create a string indicator for displaying this text. Let's call it loop one. And let's create the true case when we come into the true case let's wait at rendezvous which rendezvous this one let's pass the error wire then when we are done 
Let's pass this shift register through. Let's copy it and we will stop this loop. Let's create a constant. Loop 1 synced. And when we are done with this rendezvous, let's close it. Let's uh, destroy rendezvous. and pass the error wire. Let's pass these tunnels through error wire as well. And we will not stop the loop in this in this case. Let's create another copy of this uh, loop. Let's pass the initializer to false. Let's pass the same rendezvous, the same error wire, and in this case, let's connect this. error wire since we will not be passing this through but to this conditional terminal if error occurs and the error will occur when this rendezvous is destroyed then we will close this loop as well so let's clean up uh, things a bit. Let's uh, change the text to let loop two. Let's increase the time to let's say simulate a task that requires more time for this loop to complete. Let's create an indicator. Let's clean up the diagram. And let's go and test our code. So let's run the VI. So both loop synced at the same time, even though they took different amount of times for completing their task uh, in the false state. Let's add another uh, loop. Let's uh, initialize it to the same false. Let's pass it the rendezvous reference. And let's increase the number of loops to synchronize to three. Let's pass it the same error wire. And let's call it Let's change the text here to let's say 3. Let's change the time it takes to 
3000 seconds so now the all three loops are taking different amounts of time to complete but the rendezvous we have placed inside will ensure that they are all synced and when they once they reach here on this uh, at this place they proceed uh, in sync from this point onward let's clean up the diagram and let's go and test our code let's run the code so one loop is done second is done and all three are synced at the same time so in this manner we can sync loops running at different rates to meet and then proceed at a at the designated point in our coding. Thanks for watching.